Time to play with some clay. I found this uh, picture <coughs> off the web of uh, Sitting Bull's life mask. Somebody, an artist, made a plaster casting of his face while he was alive back in 1880. And I printed this up primarily to get the proportions for the nose and mouth and all that stuff. This is the measurement for the head on uh, the true form armature for the uh, skull that I've got on here. And so I've matched it up to the exact uh, length of his face. So I can take measurements off of this face for the width of his mouth, uh, the width of his eye, eyes, the height of his eyebrow, the height of his nose, all that stuff. So I'm going to set that aside. What I'm going to do today is just start adding clay to this now that I got it mounted. Now I'm going to start with the uh, torso to uh, lock in that uh, armature that I set in here yesterday and to steady this uh, armature a little bit the nice thing about these true form armatures is you don't have to sit here and add clay uh, and build up a thorax or work on the the uh, hips. They're pretty much there. I'm not going to get much time to work on it today. I'm starting real late in the evening and uh, I've had a bunch of other stuff come up today so it's been a busy day. Now, he's going to be holding his uh, hat over his chest. Now, when you bend a true form armature, you don't want to bend it from here because there is no metal in that uh, plastic or that foam arm. You have to take it from The, <clears throat> where the elbow is and where the uh, joint is and bend it there because there's more strength there. There's no strength in here. Um, it's primarily made just to hold uh, the clay in place. I'm just trying to match up. Now he's not taking the Pledge of Allegiance. It's, he's just taking his hat off and uh, I've Got him putting it on his chest here. I just thought it added, made a nice uh, design. Now, he had a short neck, so I'm going to lower his uh, head just a little. I want to check something here. It's, I don't have a full frontal shot of him. 
and uh, so I can't check his uh, head measurement. I'm going to move this arm out of the way. This is some of that clay I tore off with the, uh, this armature from yesterday and there's still a little bit of pieces of the armature in it and so I have to pull it out. I just don't feel his arms or his shoulders as, are as wide as a muscular man. Uh, and I'm not saying that he wasn't muscular, I'm just saying that uh, like a lot of Native Americans, he didn't lift weights. So he would have been more of a normal physique. Now a lot of this is going to be covered in a robe, a blanket, and uh, it'll be as if he were talking in a council or something. All right, I'm going to come back when I got a little more done. And uh, as you can see, I'm not paying a lot of attention to anatomy. I'm blocking in the anatomy because he's going to be covered in a blanket and with uh, clothes. So I'm just basically blocking in the the anatomy and I'll go back and refine it where I have to and take away from where I have to. As you can see on this uh, small figure I've got the uh, blanket coming around his waist up over his shoulder and down over his shoulder and uh, I may have this arm exposed a little bit I don't know yet. You want to just put clay on the uh, armature for now. So I've got a base to work on. All 
I've twisted his upper torso a little bit and uh, his head was not quite straight on and I don't like that because that that's a dead pose as far as I'm concerned. I like to have some life in the uh, subject. I'm not going to worry a lot about the uh, legs, but I'm going to at least block them in. All this is going to be covered with a robe anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, all I'm, like I said, all I'm doing is blocking in his form underneath the clothing and underneath the blanket. There's no need to go into great detail because you're wasting a lot of time and effort. Now I, I'm not saying he shouldn't. I'm just saying I don't need to. A lot of you are still learning, and it might be good to do the full anatomy under the clothing first, and then uh, go to the uh, outer clothing. This starts looking better because right now I'm not too happy with it. We'll see how it feels tomorrow or even the next day. I gotta let my clay soften up too. I'm running out of soft clay.
Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.